ibang story na to eh. Yung sa Buwanga, medyo iba na rin. Papangako lang namin sa inyo, bibigyan namin kayo ng magandang laban. The top seeded Bacoor City Strikers will move on to face the Sabuanga family's Grand Sardines. How the speed will go against the slow-paced Bacoor team is something to marvel and see and witness. The Buwanga family's Grand Sardines are moving on to the next round. Kami naman is uh, wala naman kaming pinipili kasi nga kahit sino dyan, pwede naman namin makalaban eh. In uh, what should be Another thriller of a series, Tito, MPBL South Division Playoff. Two teams that were pushed to their absolute limits in the first round go at it once again to determine who will move on to the South Division Finals. We are coming to you live from Bacoor City para sa Game 1 ng inyong MPBL South Division semifinals between the top seed, the Bacoor City Strikers, and the Sambuanga Family's Brand Sardines, the reigning South Division champions, facing a tough test ahead of them as they take on the number one team from the South in the regular season. It's a test of character as number one meets number four in this very, very crucial matchup para malaman kung sino ang papasok sa next round. And two former MVPs will be going at it. Also, uh, Marky and uh, JC Marcelino earlier will be uh, leading the respective teams as they clash in this best of three series. Magandang gabi mga kaliga. Si Dov Tupas kasama si Coach JV Gayoso. And uh, Coach, you can feel the tension here inside the strike gym. R ramdam na ramdam talaga, lalo ng mga fans dito. May mga balloons pa and everything. But advantage is the word. Advantage! Titingnan natin kung talagang home court advantage meets anything because Sambuanga won here the last time they played together. Baka mawala yung advantage na yun. That's true. And uh, syempre, nung regular season, yung meeting na yun. Kasama din natin at courtside, Ms. Gianna Llanes. And Gianna, ano yung mga nakita mo at naramdaman mo sa kanyang uh, pag-uusap sa mga players and coaches natin of the two teams that will be playing tonight? Well, sa Delphine JV, gaya ng binanggit nyo, this is a very familiar venue to us and those... These two teams that are about to play are also very familiar to us. They're familiar to each other as well. Because in the playoffs, they were able to play on the same day. At yun ang pag-uusapan ko sa aking mga reports, how Coach Alex and Coach Louie are going to use that to their advantage, scoping out the opponent systems and what they're going to do with that for this game. Abangan nyo yan sa aking mga reports. Maraming salamat, G. And abangan namin niya mamaya ang mga reports mo. Playoff bracket muna tayo, Coach JV. And nakita natin kanina, Batangas getting on the board in their uh, series against uh, Jensen. One to nothing na yung serie na yan. So only one more win for Batangas and they will move on to the South Division Finals. And uh, ito naman sa kabila, no? North Division, Pampanga and uh, Kaloocan. Pampanga one to nothing up. San Juan and Reva Isia are defending champions. San Juan ang lamang one to nothing. And uh, titignan natin at the end of the night kung sinong makakuha ng abante dito between Baco or and uh, Zamboanga. You talk about key players here, Coach JV, and Zamboanga has seen the emergence of Judel Fuentes here right. in the playoffs. And nakita natin niya si Judel, no best player in that series clinching win against Quezon. And he, he is averaging almost 13 points per ball game. Yung uh, field goal shooting, not the best, no, not that impressive, but it's those timely hits na nakikita natin from uh, Judel that has really make him a valuable uh, you know personnel dito sa ating uh, uh, matchup. Oh nga um, I'm looking forward to another great game for him pero before anything else sa Delph. <laughs> si Mukhang, meron tayong pupuntahan na. Oo oh, oh, no si Jemo <laughs> Hilos din syempre no isa sa mga importante player dito for uh, Bacoor and uh, he had a a really good series against Iloilo 14 points and 11 rebounds in those two wins in uh, Game 2 and Game 3. Best player. Alam ko, dalawang beses ang best player because they really went to him. They really relied on Jemo Equilos. He dominated in that series. Unstoppable performance. But tonight, meron siyang mga kamatchup na big men dito sa Sambuanga. Titignan natin, mga former teammates pa niya. Oo, oh, oh, no? and uh, syempre, yung uh, pinag-usapin natin kanina to start of the coverage na yung, uh, yung uh, matchup dito no, between these two teams, it was a high-scoring affair Actually, Zamboanga got off to a good start in this uh, ball game. Kumabul yung bakor no second quarter, and uh, 
you know, nung dulo, nung nagkadiktikan, Sambuanga pulling away late. Ang kagandahan dito sa larong ito is that Sambuanga often relying on the brothers, the twin turbos, but because of their performance, itong magkapatid, they found other sources of scoring which they capitalized on. Judel Fuentes nga is ika ngayon here. We see on our replay, Jamo Igilos. Well, uh, Judel Fuentes was uh, one of the standout players in that game. And the uh, field goal shooting, 44% rebounding. Panalo din ng Zamboanga. Points in the paint, panalo din sila. And second chance points, panalo din sila. And that's how aggressive itong Sambuanga team is because their big men constantly move. Perpetual motion ang alam nila. Even without the ball to get offensive rebounding or simple taps, touch passes on the place. Very great system they have there in Sambuanga. Well, a lot of the subplots here sa ating uh, serie na to, no? na including the coaching battle, but also a very interesting one. Reigning MVP, JC Marcelino against... James Quecote, you know, yung dalawang players na to inaasahan ng parehong kupunan. And JC, obviously, you know, wanting to retain that MVP honor, you know, syempre, siya pa rin naman until he gets the throne, di ba? But these numbers are, are, are still very impressive considering sa dami na ng additional firepower sa team nila. Tama ka doon. Titignan natin, performance nila tonight. We will go on regarding this as the game progresses. Let's go to uh, Gianna Lianis. I am with our player matchup, JC Marcelino from the Zamboanga's family brand Sardines and James Quekete from the Bacoor City Strikers. JC, I will start with you. Kahit nga may home court advantage ang Bacoor ngayon, most of your recent games were here at the Strike Gymnasium. So, paano nyo gagamitin yun sa inyong advantage? Ayun, kahit pa paano nakakapaglaro kami dito, kaya siguro na, nagagamay namin kahit pa unti-unti. Malaking bagay para sa amin yun. Thank you very much, JC. James, I'll move on to you. You told me before that playing in an environment like this is a little bit more spectacular than what you're used to in Canada. So how has playing for a team like Bacoor with such a supportive home crowd helped develop your confidence as a player? Well, honestly, the support over here is actually crazy. They just welcome me like back in home, back in Toronto. So it feels good and I can't wait to play right now in front of the Bacoor. Thank you very much, James and JC. Good luck to both of your teams. Now I'm turning it over to our Coliseum Barker, Miguel Pere, for the start of the game. And we are welcoming you once again, mga kaliga, here at the Strike Gym in the marching band capital of the Philippines, Bacoor City, Cavite. This is the other game one of the best of three South Division semi-final series between Zamboanga and your Bacoor Strikers. This is the 2023 Manny Pacquiao's MPBL Season 5 presented by Extreme. Let us now meet the starters. First, for Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines. Starting at center, number 7, Jason Grimaldo. At forward, number 16, Adi Santos. Also at forward, number 2, Judel Fuentes. And from the guard lines, the twin turbo, J.V. Marcelino. And the MPBL reigning MVP, J.C. Marcelino. Head coach for Zamboanga Family's brand sardines is Louis Alas. Assistant coaches Arnold Contorno, Gilbert Castillo, Cesar Paul Hen, and Francis Allen. Team representative is Antonet Roque. Head of basketball operations is Nini Arquiza. Team governor is Ram Ayraham. Team manager is Alvin Muno. Team owners are T.P. Cow and Ms. Anita Cow. And now, Bacor City, get on your feet, because it's time to meet the starting unit of your Bacor City Strikers, Philbert Starting at guard number nine, Aaron Heruta. At forward, number three, Mike Cagnete. The other forward, number 29, John Nermal. Starting at center, number 52, Mark Yee. 
And the other guard, number 15, James Kwekutse. Head coach for your Bacor City Swigers Club at .com is Alex Angeles. Position coaches R.B. Malahas, Chris Garbina, Dick Squadamore, Marco Volpin, Royce Cuevas, Disquise, Quiver, Marco Aquino, and Big Mac Antalya. Team consumers are Kat B.J. Agados, Billy Hedinalao, and Chris Conway. Team manager and go over is Mr. Dennis. Starting lineups for both teams, Bacor has Aaron Hiruta. James Krekate, Marquis, Mike Cañete, and uh, John Nerma Zamboanga. The, the Turbo Twins, JV and JC Marcelino, Jason Grimaldo, Andy Santos, and uh, Jadel Fuentes at the three spot. I, I want to go up and sit upstairs and watch this game from a different point, different vantage. Exciting, I'm excited, Fidel. Number one versus number four in the South Division. We are underway, Zabuanga in white. Bakoor with their new uh, gray jerseys. That's last touch on Mike Cañete. First possession for Zamboanga. Simple strategy on defense, one on one. But you see John Nermal, a taller player, guarding JV Marcelino. I guess preventing, using his arms to Nermal to prevent passes made. Oh, two men. Fuentes lost it. Marquis, layup is good. It seems Bacoor will just keep the ball away from anybody who has it and they harass him immediately. Last touch on. Uh, the strikers, ball will remain with Zamboanga. Isa yan sa kailangan lang gawin, pigilin itong Zamboanga from getting second chance opportunities. Napaka lakas ng tandem uh, Grimaldo and Adi, Adi Santos. Layup from Fuentes is short, rebound to John Ermal. Heron Heruta, binabatayan ni JV Marcelino. Here's Cañete. The handoff. To Krekate, an offensive oh. foul on Cañete. And there, there will be a lot of those type of plays in this ball game. And we'll see if uh, that will stay consistent up until later as we uh, bring in your keys to the game, Coach JV. Oh, uh, this is the first time, the Parejo. Whatever I write down, what you see now on the screen, pare pareho lang. Piso piso lang. So, Delph, when I go for a walk in the morning, lahat ng mga pareho nakikita ko sa dan, dinadampot ko. Come Christmas time, pinamimigay ko yun. And then I realize yung value nun, napakalaki na. So, yan ang kailangan gawin. Piso piso lang. If you can find little things that you can pick up that will favor your team, these opportunities will help you win tonight. Piso piso lang. Muscle shirt. Hindi naman lahat binabagaya ng muscle shirt. Galing ako sa gym nung isang araw. Pag hindi defined ang katawan mo, huwag ka na mag muscle shirt. The point is, I, want, I just wanted to check the action. Sorry. So, so we continue. Yung muscle shirt situation natin, sa laro, the demand is do what you do best. Kung hindi mo naman 40 ang kilos na yun, stick to the mindset, the, 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 the skill set that you have and do it over para you will end up looking good. Let's play to your strengths. Yes, play to your strengths. Ang huli naman dun ay play your hand well. Kung ano yung binigay sa'yo, parang sa baraha yan. Kung ano yung diskarte mo sa baraha, yun din yung didiskarte mo sa laro. Since unpredictable ito, play as a team together. Ang kamay, lilimang daliri, di iba-ibang sukat. Pero pag nagtulungan yan, ang lakas ng kapit yan. You, cap, you play together, you have a stronger chance of grabbing that win. Well, when you talk about piso piso lang, I, I, you know, my understanding is much is about you know coming up with you know score uh, game winning plays, not really necessarily scoring. Actually, Everything, bar, you yeah. know, a little bit of hustle here and there. Ayan yung mga ganyan. James Quekote preventing a fast break, nakakuha ng turnover. These are the little things, the opportunities that you try to grab all throughout the game. Santos, the kick out. Marcelino, that's the second miss from beyond the arc in the first two minutes of the ball game. 
great control on the defense because napalakas nga 28 offensive boards ang, ang Zamboanga sa huling pagkikita nila this time pinaprevent uh, JV Marcelino finishing at the break that is where Zamboanga is at their best They're running the floor at kanan ang ginamit usually alam mo naman si, si JV ka kanan yan Si JC yung kaliwete. Kita mo, naluto na talaga. I thought that was, ano, yes, I know, JC is the lefty. That's why nasyak ako na. Magkamukha kasi. Bakit kaya? Kambal eh. Okay. <laughs> Here's a JV Marcelino. 4-2. to two. Marcelino fires. The top goes to James Krekete. A shout out to all his, his family watching in Canada. Good evening po sa inyo. Yeah. Krekete. That's a tough shot. Krekete. He was asking for a foul. Here's JC Marcelino. Vinigeke Jodel Fuentes. No look pass. JC. Short. And short arm that uh, push shot right there. Very rare, I know, but Marky stepping into his shot. Oh, well, John, John Nermal, what a play. Here's Nermal trying to make his move past JV Marcelino. And these two teams, the reason why I gave keys to the game similar is because this is what they like doing. Getting loose balls, getting this piso piso type of opportunities for their teams. And then at the end of the day, pag inad mo nga lahat yan, makikita mo laki na ng value. Becate, the fade away. That won't work. The defense has been stingy on both ends of the on both ends uh, for both teams. Very aggressive. Napakaganda. Tumakbo si Adi Santos for, an, uh, for a fast break. Pero hinabol agad ni Cañete preventing an opportunity to score. Illegal pick on Adi Santos. 6.20 mark ng ating first quarter. 4-2. Coach Alex Angeles. First year coaching uh, Bacoor, previously coached Laguna and uh, Bacolod here in the MPBL. And he did really well in Bacolod. Yeah, that's true. Marquis, labas kay Nermal. John Nermal, too strong on the three. Ibani Adi Santos gets it ahead to JV Marcelino. I like the transition defense of Bacoor. They're not really allowing any quick offense for Zamboanga. Judal Fuentes. Nabatani Quickete. Shot clock winding down. Fuentes, no look pass. Adi Santos puts it in to beat the buzzer. Extra pass, extra pass. Always gets you good results. Great pass by Fuentes. Ganda ng galaw dito ni Judal Fuentes and the no look pass. And sometimes hindi mo kailangan uh, sumiksik dun sa ilalim eh. Hindi talaga. And he attracts the attention of everybody. And knowing that he has a teammate like Ati Santos who moves without the ball, makes an easy target for him. Somebody who gives him an option. Here's Quekete earlier. Challenging the defense of Grimaldo and he draws the foul. That was a good foul by Jason Grimaldo. No easy baskets. This is the time where you have to earn every shot from the line. And uh, meanwhile, let's go to Gian Alianis. Four Bacoor players got caught up in flu season and will not be playing today, namely Jimboy Pastoran, Reniel Gloria, even Ludovice, and Jammer Hamito. Pero may new addition rin sila, but on the coaching staff naman. Since last game, Coach Chris Gavina has confirmed his official return for the strikers for the rest of the season, saying he is overjoyed. In terms of preparation for the series, kwento ni Coach Alex na sa pagpanood niya ng mga laro ng Zamboanga, sila ay, in his words, mabilis, matapang, at may championship mentality. So ang kanilang mga practice this past week was focused on strength training, physically and mentally. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Diana. And uh, here's Bacoor on the run. Nermal finishing up high. What I expected Zamboanga to do, Bacoor is doing. I, here we see two-man game. The big guy bringing the ball and dishing off to John Nermal. Yeah, look at... John Nermal, the hang time, 
And the finish right there over the MVP, J.C. Marcelino. Nakita mo yung airtime ni J.C. Marcelino on that attempted block. block. Eh, mas mahaba-haba ng konti itong kay Chandler. Oh, oh. <laughs> Free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances and Subok at Kompletong Appliance Brand ng Pilipinas. 9-4, to four, Bacor off to a strong start. But you gotta talk about yung mga wala dito sa Bacor. Ivan Ludovice, a crucial player for them. Uh -huh. Especially sa kanina, sa, at that point guard position. So, we may see a lot of Aaron Hiruta in this ball game. Tama ka dun. Maaasahan mo naman si Aaron Hiruta. It's just that Ludovice, laking bagay nun. He's really part of the rotation dito para kay Coach Alex. Titignan natin kung maka-adjust sila. Imagine, you play so many months just to get here. And on this 31st day, on the second round of the playoffs, you're sick. Get well soon. No, oh, Napat yan. Nermal fires. Fuentes with the rebound. Coach Chris Gavina, welcome back to the MPBL. King Caralipio gets the three. Nakatulog sila doon. Naiwan si King Caralipio. Oo nga. Hindi niyasahan. But they have to remember, this guy can shoot the lights out as well. He did that in game two of their first round in Zamboanga. Hey, Ruta. Turnaround shot. That won't work. Rebound ni Caralipio. Quickly to JC Marcelino. 9-7. Here's Canalipio. Puts the ball on the deck. Recovers his dribble. Labaske JC. JC will fire and hit. The excitement. Para kang nasa circus. Yung bagong pasok mo sa circus. Yung mata mo talagang dilat na dilat. Kasi natutuwa ka sa nakikita natin. Same goes on the offense for both teams tonight. 10-9. Kakate, Marky, losing his balance there, pero napituwa na foul. To Judel Fuentes, Sambanga over the limit. Watch this three-point shot of the game, brought to you by Chief One Stop Shop Appliances. JC missed his first two three-pointers and knocks down that shot on his third attempt. Ang kagandaan doon yung defense ni John Nermal preventing Caralipi to, from making an attempt forcing that pass to a J.C. Marcelino yun nga lang wow talagang pick your poison na lang J.C. Marcelino hitting the three Marky on his first Coach Alex tense na tense oh, he averaging uh, 8 points and 9 rebounds during the regular season referees were today uh, to this game Jay Castroverde Elizalde Makailo Seth Bingol and the fourth man is Jay Francisco four points now for Marky 11 to 10 ang ating score Cyrus Tabi is in the game and so is uh, Joseph Gabaini for Zamboanga Tabi gets it to JC Marcelino same spot same result para kay JC Marcelino who now has six points Six points for him. Closeout needed, needs to be made by Lee Yu, who's guarding him. Inside, Jaymo Iguilos. Well, right now, Gabaini needs to put a body on Jaymo Iguilos. And that's what the matchup that I saw that would kind of stop itong si Jaymo kasi mabigat itong si Gabaini at mabilis din yung paa. Gabaini trying to spin. That's a travel. But alam mo, si Dusty Gabayni has that move. He just took an extra step, probably medyo na usog lang ng konte because nga na utakan din siya ni Jaymo Igilos. Jaymo step back, lost his balance at ang si Gabayni, and he takes steps. And this was Jaymo Igilos earlier with a step stick back. Igilos, Chito Jaime for three. Yes. Well, they've mastered that the first round. They start inside with Jaymo Aguilos and they get another experienced shooter. Jaymo Aguilos, he is a willing passer. He doesn't need to score. Pag nakikita niya walang advantage, he will make that pass without any hesitation. Alwin Alday, Joel Liu, James Krakate, Chito Jaime, Jaymo Aguilos. Five on the floor for Bacoor, Chito Jaime. Knocks down the three ball. Who was uh, Chito Jaime? Was actually named 
by Dave Moralde of Montilupa as part of his uh, all-time mythical five. Oh, ta- oh yeah. Uh, pinapapili kasi ng MBBL ng, uh, you know, sa social media lang. No, pang content lang ba? Yes, I saw that and I did my own uh, I, did, I did my own lineup. I was watching yesterday's game. Nabanggit nga nung dalawang panel, Migs and Javi. So I did my own lineup. I won't say who. Oh, sige, mamaya. Pag-isipan ko. O, oh, isipan mo ha? Kasi baka maraming magalit sa akin. <laughs> eh, unfortunately, lima lang ang pwede. Oo nga eh. That single lost it. And a foul on Chito Jaime. I guess there's one player undoubtedly na isasama ko doon. That's JC Marcelino. Yeah, my point here, kana. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. Because I can make him two. He plays one or two, so... But he is included. Okay. That definitely is there. 16 to 13. Cyrus Tabi gets uh, dumps the ball to Gabayni against Aguilos. Gabayni throws it and cinco. Drop pass. Got a leap, yo. A good interior passing there by uh, Zamboanga. Five points for Tancinco. Nermal. Minigay kay Jaime. Here's Li Yu. Jaime, again, too strong. JC Marcelino with a rebound. Marcelino with a Euro. Well, you can't keep your feet planted on the ground when you're defending eight points for JC Marcelino. You have to keep active footing, you know, backpedaling and just, you know, preventing JC from getting a step to the basket. Very easy to say, very tough to do. Five seconds remaining. Lee Yu. The kick out to Nermal for three. Too strong. And that will do it. First 10 minutes is done in this battle between number one and number four in the south. The Zamboanga family's brand sardines with a one point lead at the end of one, despite the efforts of uh, Marky. Bakor actually took an early advantage, but JC Marcelino coming alive in the midway point of the quarter. Eight points for JC. And here he is finishing on the break. Ano pag gagawin mo pag talagang full steam ahead na itong si JC? 17 to 16 at the end of one. Inside the strike gym in uh, Bacoor. Punong puno ang strike gym, and uh, for this matchup between Bacoor and Zamboanga, and we take a look at the numbers here. Wow, all of Bacoor's outputs in uh, the in the regular season, all in the top ten. Napakagandang tignan, no? Even the turnovers. Yeah, but Zamboanga number sixteen in the turnover count. Yun ang nakakalungkot lang doon yung I don't know I'm, I'm not against anything no kung pwede lang burahin yung turnover na yun anyway great presentation there Igilos oh miscommunication and it's an error 
and these are the things that will happen. Adjustment lang, no frustration. Senyasan lang sila, 7 of 16, 43% ang Sambuanga. Habang 5 of 17, 29% para sa Bacor in their field goals. Oh, Mahari thought about it. Here's Cyrus Tabi. Tancinco, short. Good effort there from uh, Joseph Gabaini, but the ball will go back to Bacoor. Full court pressure sa Duff. Tignan natin kung paano mag adjust ang strike. Ooh, strikers. <clears throat> this is actually a tough one here for Bacoor, considering na they don't have a natural point guard, really. Mostly, pag naglalaro ito si Joey Liu, sinasabay kay Ludovice, Alday also doesn't usually run the point. That's a turnover on Lee Yu. And you were pointing out they don't have a natural point guard. These are the adjustments where somebody needs to step up. Purahin na sa utak nila na hindi sila natural. Which you pointed out, which was great. So Alday needs to step up. So, uh, yun yung Lee ma well. Kaso ano nga eh, yung muscle shirt din sinasabi mo eh. There you go. Exactly. If it's not your role, um, wag mo gawin. Just do what you do best. But see, Heruta is ready to come back in. Nakikita ni Coach Alex na nakakailangan talaga sila ng isang taong magbababa ng bola para sa team nila. Here's Alday. Finds Jaime. Who gets denied? By Gabaini inside. Check out the defense of Gabaini. Guarding one man, helping on the other. Oh, wow. Joseph Gabaini. Very assertive defensively. Galing. You know, I really told him. I, I oh, so maybe siya kay Alvin Alday doon. Just when we were talking, something saying something nice about him. Pero well, these things happen. Yung mga ganyan pao. He tried to challenge the shot, but the momentum of Alday was really going forward. So natawagin sa nampao don. Pero take note sa dapa all throughout. Kaniyaw pa pinapansin. Piso piso lang lahat sila nagdadampot ng very helpful opportunities para sa kanilang kumpanan. Both sides. Napakaganda panorin. Yeah, they. They're not taking anything for granted. Yes, very aggressive sila because nga napakahalaga to get this first win. Ooh, one for two for Alwin. We are tied at 17. Cyrus Tabi. Here's Gabaini against Igilos. Gabaini, the one-hander, doesn't drop. Igilos. With the rebound, pinapahirapan siya. Bakor able to cross. Here's Alday. Attacks. No go. Had to change his shot. Good attempt. Pero again, the presence of Gabaini just forcing Alday to change and miss the shot. And Cinco. Turnover. Heruta ahead to Jaime. It's a foot race. And it's last touch on uh, John Mahari. <laughs> Look at Chito Jaime. Expecting a little too much for the young man, Chito Jaime. Oh, maganda sinabi ko, young man. Yes. Yes. Pero you can see him huffing Be and puffing. Beating 220-somethings. Oh, oh, nga. To the basketball. Nandun lang puso. Aba. Nermal is free. Yes, sir! Ball rotation. Ball rotation. Get somebody free. You cannot play single basketball, six points for Nirmal. You have to look for the offensive player who has a good shot at the basket, whether it's far or near. Pero nakaset talaga para maganda ang percentage ng tira. Mahari will drive. And the whistle going against... It looks like Alun Alun Alday. But... I want to see this again because Alwin Alday fouled him, but uh, it's a well, great extra pass. Alday to John Nermal. All net. Boom. And uh, that's uh, John Nermal, one of the more consistent performers for Bacor this season. And the, the thing about his consistency is you can't really pinpoint where he scores from. 
He scores from outside, penetrates, moves without the ball, goes for second chance opportunities. He scores in more ways than one. Split at the line for Mahari, 20 to 18. Alday makes his move. Alday down the middle, in and out. Almost a tip back by Chito Jaime. That was halfway in. Fuentes, well defended on the three. Alday comes away with the loose ball. Binigeke Hiruta. They've got numbers. Aaron to Nermal, who puts it in for two. Caralipio, the bump and the bucket. Conting contact, creating space, finishing with a fadeaway, slight fadeaway lefty. Kaliwete. Ganda ng matchup, Nermal and Caralipio. At the three spot. I, I, I hear you, I, I agree with you, but I see a lot, ang daming gagandang matchup si Del, di ba? Yeah. Igilos. Itong dalawa. Against Gabayni, Jaymo. Oh. And you know the difference when in the first round, Jaymo Igilos did not have to contend with a player like Jason Joseph Gabayni. Pre precisely, and that's the reason why during that first playoff game, the advantage which they took advantage of was the bigs. This time they match up well itong Sambuanga and that's why kailangan maghanap. Di discarte ka ngayon. Yun ang, ano, situational. You have to find a way to score because what you have, what is given to you is what you make discarte with. The changes here for Bacoor. Binalik na si Cañete and Krekete and Yi. JC Marcelino being guarded by Aaron Hiruta. Dumapig is also in the ballgame for the first time. Mahari all the way to the rack. Mahari. Really can't choose, no? Let him shoot from the outside or allow him to go penetrate. Me medyo naging res may respeto na rin yung ibang team sa three-point shooting ni Mahari because he's hit a handful especially late in the season. Tama ka dun. And that's the reason why let him penetrate para at least two points lang ang makuha, hindi three. And there's a better chance to prevent that shot. Four points. Oh, yeah, four points. For Mike Cañete. For Cañete. 24 to 22. Here's Mahari. There you go. Fires a three. Ooh. That's an air ball. Dumapig and Marquis. They're refusing to let each other go. Magandaring matchup yan. Experience versus muscle. Na may experience din. Na may experience din. Five minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the second period. Bahor up by two. This is going to be a dogfight. Those were Coach Louis' exact words when describing what he expects from this series. Maliban kay Japs Bautista, lahat naman ng players ng Zamboanga ay healthy at kailangan daw talaga yun going against the number one team in eliminations. Ang pinakamahirap daw sa kuponan niya ang mental toughness. But when they doubt themselves, they remember their game two of the playoffs. Kwento ni Coach Louis after that loss in approach ng players niya saying that they never want to feel that pain again. At kahit nga may home court advantage yung Bacoor ngayon, one thing is on their mind. Basketball is a 5-on-5 game, so stay focused sa kung sino ang katapat. Back to you, Sadal JV. Thank you, G. Maraming salamat. Uh, a lot of great points. Yeah, sir. syempre.
Oh, Coach Louie. Ang nagustuhan ko yung pain. Pain talaga brings out the best in you because you don't want to feel that pain. And I've felt so much pain before in my playing career na ayoko na. Matalo. Oh. And, and really, right now, the, the, the character test na pinag- na yung, yung, yung kwento ng game natin eh. Unang-una, for Sambuanga, they come in here knowing that everybody's going to cheer against them. So that's a given. But they won here before, so that they have that to lean on. They just have to, you know, um, weather the storm that Bakoor will give for the next three quarters. Nabanggit ko nga sa'yo eh. If this game comes to two points in the last minute, I favor the more experienced point guard, our J MVP player, JC Marcelino. Uh, 26 to 22. Uh, strikers up by four after those two free throws from Aaron Heruta. Mahari trying to find Dumapig. It's a turnover. There you go. Something Dumapig is not really good at. Um, making that roll and catching and trying to score. He's best to get those second chance opportunities, muscling his way to get an offensive rebound. Cañete gives it up to Marquis. Iruta. Great defense switching lang. Everybody switching kasi magkakasama, magkakapareho lang oh. ang height. Cañete lost the handle. Oh. Caralipio taps it to Fuentes. The extra pass to Mahari who gets denied by Marquis. Out of nowhere, Marquis extends and prevents a point blank shot. Parang tumama rin sa, ano, uh -oh. sa ring. Well, masyadong malalim si John Mare. Uh -oh. uh, pero kung umatras naman siya, palpal din yun. So, really had to stay away from Marky. JV Marcelino back in the game. Fuentes. Looking for his a basket. And Miguel Fuentes is blocked by John Nermal. John Nermal never giving up on the play. Yan ang nagawa nung last game nila nung pumasok ang Sambuanga dito sa second round. Binantayan nila si Judel Fuentes. You see how everybody helps out. Heruta doing a great job blocking the path to the basket. Well, hindi mag-aaway ano yan. Hindi, hindi mag yan. Uh, parehong taga CEU yan. Ano lang ngayon? Uh, kumusta hamba? Nice job, nice job. Dumapig. JV Marcelino. JC. Oh, he is feeling it. JC Marcelino. Dumpa sa harap ni Coach RB Maka. And 11 points for him. And JC Marcelino and Heruta were laughing at each other because Heruta's doing a great job. And you wouldn't expect JC Marcelino to take those shots, but hey, he feels it. He's hitting it. Heruta. Nice move, no finish. No mapping secures the rebound. Gusto makabawi si Heruta agad. Pero these are the things they need to control. Okay lang, sumenyas naman siya sa coach niya. Eh. 3.30 left in the first half. JC Marcelino fires. No. No mapping with the offensive rebound. Denied by Yee, but JV Marcelino. Right there for the stick back. But Dumapi keeping the ball alive. Yun ang nabanggit ko nga earlier. Diyan sa magaling. Carving out space and getting those second chance points. Opportunities pala. Yi against Dumapi. Plenty of time on the shot clock. They go to Nermal. Cañete trying to fight for it. And the ball will stay with Bakoor. With four seconds in the shot clock, and that forces Coach Alex Angeles to call a timeout. 27 to 26, Samuanga up by one.
the marquee. The numbers are lower compared to previous seasons, but the winning mentality, the experience, the leadership is still there for everyone to see, especially for this Bacor City Strikers team. At hindi ka pwedeng hindi makinig sa kanya because what he says, he does. I mean, the little things, helping out, setting screens, preventing shots, making extra passes, and when you don't expect it, he'll take those threes. And he's done that and hit it. He's been hitting it pretty well. Four seconds. Oh, what a play! Nermal! Oh! Unable to finish right and, there. And right there, we were talking about Marquis. He, what he did was set a good screen. Kaya na libre si John Nermal overpassed by JC Marcelino. Uh, JV Marcelino. Ye. They go to Nermal. There's a double team. That's a travel. Unang game natin, back to back ang kilos. Yung nga, sinasabi natin, nagja-jab, nakaka-score offensively. Dito, umiba ang tema. Back to back, great defensive plays by both teams, Sadel. 8 to 6. The turnover story. Adi Santos will not get the bounce. Rebound to Mike Cañete. Iruta, drive, the kick to Yi. Extra pass, Nermal again, halfway in before lipping out. And that hurts. Mas maigi ng talagang wala yung tira kesa yung pumasok na lumabas pa. A nice fake there from Dumapik. Nakakatuwa, nakakatu, nakakatuwa si Del si Dumapik. When they were entering the court before the game, may hawak-hawak siyang kape. Parang cool na cool lang. And that's nice to see. That shows that he is relaxed and ready to play. And he's showing it using his positioning. Titignan lang natin kung makapinish. Oh! Jason Grimaldo getting ready to come in. Another big guy, banger para dito sa Sambuanga. Crystal Mapig averaging five points and five rebounds. Oh, over oh two for Crystal Mapig. Niruta. Yi. Nermal spins and lays it in off the glass. What a move, John Nermal. Ten points in the game. What a move. Twice nag attempt si John Nermal. Hindi pumasok. Kung kailan mahirap at may ikot uh, bet between two or three guys, dun pa pumapasok ang kanyang shot. The top. Oh. Oh wow. Also Eric Let's look at this move from John Nermal. Grabe yung concentration niya doon. Ako na nahilo ng iba doon eh. Nakakahilo nga napalitan na nga mag-help itong si Adi Santos pero still he knew where he was. That's court presence. Great tap on the ball. Cañete, I believe, was the one who... Oh! Great steal. Kita mo, depensa natin, no? Both sides. Balikan lang. Again, I need to point out, good defensive plays on both ends. Napakahirap ng score. Tingnan mo, mag-halftime na tayo, baba ng score. Oo. 28 to 27, Eric Acuna is in the ball game. And uh, dun mo nakikita na kulang talaga yung player because they don't usually activate him. Right. Big. Here's Krekate. Good defense. And 6 si JC Marcelino. And uh, you know what I like as well? They're not in the penalty, but the, the defense has been very, very... Kasi, and a challenge for both teams. Tama ka dun. Itong team na to, they don't 
they don't grab the ball when the player they're grabbing it from is holding the ball. Di na timing ang nila habang nagdi-dribble. So there's no contact on the man. No calls are made except for very few that were already called. No, but more than that, it's just great defense, great active hands by both teams. And also a rare appearance for Mark Montuano. As, as we mentioned, Jammer Hamito is not around for Bacoor. Marky misses. JC Marcelino finds JV. JV off balance shot. Adi Santos finds JV who relocates. Recate grabs the rebound. JV had to hurry that shot. A great anticipation by JC. And that's where this Sambuanga team never stops Adele. They play defense from start to finish. They just run and run. Marcelino brothers just on another level. Look at how they swarm. James Crecote right here. Dumikit lang yung kamay yung sa bola eh. Right. Parang may magnet yung kamay ni Ano eh. Ang ganda nung tinataas lang nila ang kamay, kita mo. And then, the movement of the offensive player, he puts the ball dun sa path ng kamay ng defenders, kaya nakukuha nila. No foul is called against the defenders. And that's where JC Marcelino can do damage. Not just on the offensive end, but more so on the defensive end. He can wreak havoc. Itong uh, Turbo Twins, JC and JV Marcelino. And yun ang, yun ang, yung sinasabi mong yan was proven in their last game where they won and entered the second round. Well, look like looks like Ignacio's in. You know that Ignacio can shoot. Yeah, the only table. only one big man for Zamboanga. Well, I'm pretty sure they're gonna waste time, rotate that ball, and look for the good shooter. Yeah, Zamboanga had another timeout available for them. And uh, you talk about Eric Acuna, yes, and I because I host JV. It's very rare that we've seen him this season. His last game was against Mindoro, August 21. He's only played nine games this season. Ito si Eric Acuna. Well, this time he needs to step up his game bago ko ituloy. Tingnan natin ang ating mga pinapakita sa monitor. Uh, junior MPBL action on October 29 at the Amoranto Sports Complex. Uh, 7 a.m. Uh, Batang uh, Bawan will play Batangas City Barakitos at, in the 14-under division. And... Uh, uh, Yan lang yung uh, tatlo po yung games doon. Ang aga nun ha, 7 a.m. Mga bata naman eh. Mga bata naman. Well, actually, ako 5 o'clock, oh. gising na ako. So. Oo nga eh. Pero, Ayun yung news ng ano, Bacor City Strikers, nag ano pa eh. Ako na po. Si Miss Tanya at si Nita. Yan, mga yan. fans dito. Lagi yan, yan din, dito. I wanna go back to Acuna's situation. He hasn't played for a long time, but now is the time to bring him in. Why? Because we're not sure of Ludovic's situation kung kailan siya babalik. He needs to get back into the groove. Itong si Acuna needs to get this, um, get to play in this scenario again. And if it helps for for Bacor, good and fine. Fuentes. Ignacio is open. Fires a three. No. He is called off the bench to see uh, Joy Ignacio. Six seconds remaining here. Uh, we can feel na medyo maaga yung tira na yun, but nonetheless, that was the best shot available for them. Oh, oh, oh eh, kasi hindi naman huminto ang pagdepensa ng aggressive defense itong Bacoor. Now, probably the longest, <laughs> longest 15 seconds Bumabawi in the second uh, quarter in MPB history. <laughs> Time out ng Bacor. Magbabalik kami. Si Kapatid Tama. Okay, labas. Then give and go. Then create. 
six seconds. Eric, dalawa shooter mo sa dalawang corner. Ah, one go, pag open, go for it. Ah, okay, one more. Sapa, sapa, sapa. Okay, George, one, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, keep and go. Okay, go. Pero kung walang pasa dito, okay na, pakita ka mamon. And then, sige, tribulando po, or kung kaya mo, go for it. Okay, let's get a shot on. Well, from what I understood, Sadel, three seconds, then they make attack, two-man game, sort of create something. They got two shooters in the corner. Let's see how they execute in six seconds of play. Yi back to Acuna. Here's Eric Montuano. Gives it up to Quecate, but it's well defended by Zamboanga. And uh, that will do it for our first half. It's been a tight affair here at the strike gym in Bacoor. I did not expect anything less. One point lead. Yun Lang. Great, great basketball game, Sadel. Our leader of the half. Everyone was struggling, but John Nermal yeah, showing us his vast skill set here. 10 points, 3 rebounds, tough finishes at the rim for John Nermal. And uh, he is uh, part of the reason why the strikers are in the lead at the end of two quarters. Kapag 
masaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang kubunan
halftime dito sa Strike Gym in uh, Bacoor. It's the South Division semifinals between uh, Bacoor Strikers and the Zamboanga Family's brand Sardines. Number one versus the number four seed and the reigning South Division champions. It's a low scoring affair. And uh, Coach JB Gayoso, you've identified very unconventional uh, statistical departments here in the first half. Well, makikita natin na uh, halos ano eh, pant pantay lang ng laro itong dalawang kuponan na to. Assist wise, 8 assists. Inside points, 14 apiece. Fast break points yun. Medyo lumamang lang ang bakor, which we expected some Buanga to be the, doing the running game. Turnover situation, 10 to 8 halos pareho, but it's Bacoor who's capitalizing with 13 points. So, it's a great matchup. That's why, sinabanggit mo nga, low scoring game but high-intensity defensive game. And that's the reason why ang hirap makapuntos itong both teams. Everybody is switching to somebody who has the ball. Scoring situation natin, JC Marcelino with 11, hitting a couple of threes. Uh, Caralipio with 7, Marcelino with 4, and Mahari with 3. Well, to your point, you know the intensity is very high and, and the quality of defense is very good. Uh, Bacor giving up only 6 fouls in that first half. Zamboanga with 10 fouls. So, you don't know my kita na they're, they're playing really good defense. Good defense. Without fouling. At hindi sa naging laro na puro free throws lang because ang daming ang action na nangyayari. Sayang hindi natin na banggit yung ano. Okay lang. Okay Mababanggit lang. natin yan Mababanggit. During, during the game. Tama ka dun. Kasi tulad nung sa panahon ko, one time I scored 17 points in my college day pero yung pangalan ko lumabas sa dyaryo, mali. Lungkot ko. Ay, hindi ka na nag-clippings nun. Wala pa. Oo nga. Hindi ko na... Lungkot ko nun. Third quarter underway. The first crack at the basket para sa Zamboanga. And it's a miss para dito kay JC Marcelino. Oh, nice pass. Eruta finding Nermal. 12 points para kay John Nermal. Well, Zamboanga, the guys on top were doing a great job harassing Haruta. Naiwan na lang yung big guys sa ilalim, naiwan yung kanilang defender. Kaya Haruta was able to find an open teammate down low. Mahari, that short, Kwekate with a block. And he completes the defensive stop by uh, bouncing the ball off Mahari's knee. Great presence of mind by James Kwekate. Again, pinabati natin. Oh, bago batiin. Peace the victory for Sambuanga. Ito, makita natin, piso piso lang. Yes, both teams have been really going aggressive, picking up those little tangible things that can help them win a basketball game. A plus factor for them, check on that list. Muscle shirt, uh, I put an X, not because pinipilit ng players gawin ang hindi nila kayang gawin masyado. It's just that that's the defense that is being off, uh, uh, created sa mga players natin you're forced now to do something you're not accustomed with so akin lang sa second half stick to what you do best you'll help your team out third third point play your hand well maganda discard ng ginagawa ng, uh, ng uh, family sardines they're not forcing the shots they're looking for making extra passes they're looking for open teammates great game for them on the offensive end and uh how about Bacoor dito? Same as, same as Zamboanga, kaya nga mababa ang scoring natin. Lumalaban itong Bacoor doing the same thing, muscle shirt. Yes, they're not forcing the issue in any part unless they are forced by the defense. Play your hand well, maganda. Dumidiscarte ang Bacoor strikers given what they have. There we see now, John Nermal posting up. Usually, it's Jaymo Aguilos. Yun ang nabibigay sa kanilang opportunity and they capitalize. Wow! They're going to check that again if it was an offensive goaltending. Yeah, but foul on Aaron Hiruta. And 30 to 27 on the drive from uh, JC Marcelino. They're checking this if it's a goaltend. Yan ang mahirap talaga pag malakas kang tumalon, nagugulat ang tao pag naabot mo yung bola. Automatic, they will say, uy, baka goaltend. And it's good that we have that now. Sa panahon namin, wala eh. Hindi pa uso yung ibabalik mo sa replay to check. 
nabanggit ko nga eh. Pangalan ko lumabas sa Jario. Uh-huh. <laughs> hindi na ma- once ma-print, hindi na ma-ipulit yun. So, two free throws para kay uh, JC Marcelino. Let's watch this. This Marcelino using this quick spin move. And uh, Quekote, huling huling. Great block. James Great Quekote. block by James Quekote. And he is very athletic. Let's see uh, James Quekote. 12 points now for uh, JC Marcelino. Kahit ano gawin mo, si JC Marcelino hahanap talaga ng paraan makapuntos. Napalpal nga siya. Gets one from the line. Quekote on the drive. Nermal will go back to Heruta. Yi against Caralipio. Swings it over to Krekate. Three pointer. Wala. Caralipio comes away with a loose ball. King finds JV Marcelino. Counter steal by Krekate. It's one against four. And Krekate will pull back and wait for Heruta. Two guys immediately harassing Kwekote, forcing James Kwekote to pass that ball to Heruta. Great stop by Sambuanga to, you know, stop the offense of Bakoor. Nerma shoots over JC and he knocks it down. 15 points for John Nermal. It's a five point lead for the strikers. Marcelino, kick out. Caralipio for three. Yes! You can sense he was gonna take the three. Took a step forward, forced this man to step back, gave himself space, Caralipio hitting and making the three. Here's Nermal having trouble. Oh. Turnover, JC to JV for the two points. Well, buong gabi mangyayari ito. Hindi nila na-execute sa first half. Six points for JV. Hindi nila na-execute ito. Mahari and Krekote. They engage in a colorful conversation. Perhaps the, old, the first time in the series that medyo may konting uh, kulay na. Well, nagkakaroon ng kulay because James Kwekote is a scorer. And if he can't stop him the proper way, you have, find, you have to find ways to get his mind off the game. And that's how basketball is. Even in the higher ranks of the NBA, sirain mo yung ulo ng player mawawala ang focus sa laro. And right now, James Quekote has to focus. Here we see on the right side of our monitor, or on the screen. You know, Mahari and Quekote both teed up by referee Jay Castroverde. They have to be separated. Pareho siguro na ganyan. Great job by the refs just making sure nothing and, and, gets out of hand. And I like it. Huh? I like it. I like the action now. I like it. Diba? I like it. And look at our score. 33 all. Wow. Bekate for three. That's good. He has to be careful though. Already yep. on a technical. Can't do that. Marcelino to Caradipio. King spins his way in. Labasca Mahari. Can he answer? Ooh. No. Had the line. Just didn't finish. Wow. That would have been a silencer because Mahari's release from our angle was just straight to the rim. The three point shot of the game brought to you by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. There are three pointers that are normal. But this is a special one for James Kekete. Yes, special one. And for his family watching abroad in Canada. Good evening po sa inyo. Enjoy the game. Great game by James. Yeah, you gotta like the mentality of James Kekete. Immediately asking for that basketball. After 
that bit of conversation with uh, John Mahari. Eh, siyempre, nakaka-inspire talaga nyo. Your challenge, you know, it's a kick. A kick of en- adrenaline and just gives you that extra energy to mm, give that oomph. Here's Heruta. Trekete is open again. Bingo, almost. No. Nermal. 17 points in the ball game para kay John Nermal. 38-33. Pagsak si Ero Neruta. And a foul on John Mahari. And, and you know, th- this is the problem with what John Mahari did as well. It gets the crowd involved. It gets the crowd involved. Here we see the bit of action. John Nermal with a one-hander put back. Well, they, they were claiming there was a foul, and here was the play earlier. Magsak si Aero Neruta. Or maybe for John Mahari. So John Mahari. He goes back to the bench and, and that's it. That's, that's what you hear from the crowd here. Sa yung gumigising sa crowd. Yeah. At na inspire ang baka or players to play well. Kanyete. There's a foul on Adi Santos and nasa penalty na. Uh, well, in that call, it's a bit a combination of two things. Na medyo na off balance si Kanyete, and at the same time, Adi Santos was playing defense. You have to put your hand on the man, but it looked like he was pulling because na off balance si Kanyete. Misses the first. for two. Grimaldo grabs the rebound. JC Marcelino. JC to Grimaldo. He's looking for Caralipio. Caralipio is a double team. Releases it to Grimaldo. The one-hander, short. Agawans a rebound. And it's last touch. Last touch ng Bahor. Well, everybody motioning to, for a review, but talagang the excitement and the, the noise, is, it, it's just carrying this game to another level. So the... I like seconds. the excitement. Yes. I can feel it. Oh, oh, yeah. From your end. Foul away from the ball. That will go against Aaron Heruta. Look what Bacoor has done, Sidel. They've kept Jadel Fuentes from playing basketball tonight. Best player in their last game. A no-show tonight. Not because of Jadel Fuentes' fault. He's trying. It's just that Bacoor is just clamping down on him. Well, he has a quarter and a half to go. Fuentes. Still nowhere to go for Judel. There's a double team. Heruta timing his jump pretty well. Quekate will drive and bank it in. Wow. Sudden elevation going to his left. Seven points for James Quekate. 40 to 33. Momentum for Bacoor. Fuentes bounce pass inside. Marcelino misses. Loose ball ends up with Aaron Heruta. Heruta drops it off to Cagnete. Six points. Sabuango forced to call a timeout. They need to regroup. Here's that bit of action where he goes left, then suddenly elevates as he gets to the middle of the basket. Finger roll para kay James Krekete. Heruta finds Kanyete underneath for the two points. It's the biggest lead of the ball game for Bacoor, 42 to 33.
full, but... A fool gives full vent to their anger, but a wise man keeps himself under control. That was Proverbs 29.11, written on Coach Alex's whiteboard during halftime, reminding his players not to get too frustrated with themselves. He actually applauded them because he believes that they took the pace for the game so far. Pero pinoint out niya na si JC Marcelino, nakakuha na ang kumpiyansa niya, so they have to do everything. Na itulak talaga ang movement kung saan hindi komportable ang kalaban. He also says that they have to reduce turnovers and Increase offensive rebounds. Pinaalala ni sa players niya na ang scouting report nila before this series was actually a collective effort and not just him. So now, they really have to put action to it. Back to you, the Dolphin Baby. Thank you, G. Thank you so much, G. And uh, I like the Proverbs quote. Yeah, and, and, nope. and syempre yung, yung also yung pinoint out ni Coach Alex that you know, to make JC Marcelino a little bit more comfortable. Right. Nakukuha ba na kukuha niya na yung rhythm niya ngayon? Well, you see, there are two sides of it. Let JC score, stop everyone else. Because every, in a lot of the games that JC does score and prevent everybody else from scoring, they don't win. It has to be a contribution by three or four other guys hitting double digits dito para sa Sambuanga. Rimaldo. Board to shoot. Grimaldo gets it back. The one-hander doesn't drop. And Cañete secures the rebound. A bit a, a bit far for his distance though with that one-hander. Should come closer. Well, they will review this. And uh, Hiruta claiming there was second motion on uh, Fuentes yes, after they're the foul. And, and these are the things that uh, Jadel Fuentes needs to hold back on. Ito, may, ayan, makikita mo yung extra motion. Ball away from Hiruta already. I don't think the second motion after the ball was gone hit Hiruta. I think it was on the first. Nagkakaroon ng recall sa ating uta pag tinamaan ka. You know how sometimes you get hit and then after a while, oh, masakit pala. Hindi mo nasubukan yun. I can hit you now and then find out later. Please don't. Alright. And then, I'm just carried away with the game. Exciting kasi. Can you break down some of the statistics here? Eto, makita free throw situation 8 of 11 for Bacor favoring them 2 of 6 lang para sa Sambuanga they need to put themselves more on the line offensive rebounding lumalamang ang Sambuanga but they need to put that back it's an unsportsman like foul it has been upgraded there you go the elbow was up top well I need to point something out Heruta plays a rugged game. He's been hounding Jadel Fuentes all throughout. That's already frustration on Jadel Fuentes' part. And he needs to control that. Why? Because he is the shooter, go-to guy of this team, Sambuanga. Jadel Fuentes should just focus on playing good basketball, good offensive basketball. Mintis ang uh, free throw na una from Aaron Heruta. Oh, well for two for Aaron. He's been playing uh, extended minutes. Uh, boss Dennis Abelia on the bench right there. Shot at 14 seconds. Si Boss Dennis lamang na ang team niya, pero alam niya hindi pa siya pwedeng umiti because this team sa Buanga just never stop fighting. Recate against Caralipio. Yi. One-hander, Marky, wala. Rebound, Caralipio. First stop for Sambuanga. Fuentes, well defended. JC Marcelino, three-pointer, short. Nermal taps it only to Santos. Marcelino scores. And the lead is down to seven. Well, great point there for Sambuanga. Several guys contributing to that JC Marcelino layup. 14 points now for JC. Eruta against Adi Santos. Eruta down the 
middle, and he scores. Soft touch, great move. Going by two guys, and finally, Jason Grimaldo challenging. Nice shot by Haruta. Judel Fuentes, into double team, with a gay gay Grimaldo. They're trying to thread the needle there. So, so Del, permit me to say this, you know, Gabaini has been sitting down for a long time and now he's finally in. I think what Sambuanga has thought of doing was just to match him up against Jamo Aguilas every time Jamo comes in. But here's our replay, great penetration by JC. I think the young, young go-to ano strategy nila is Gabaini comes in to just keep a body on Jamo Aguilas. Grimaldo. Fuentes, he's in trouble again. Turnover. Nermal is ahead of the pack. And that ball tapped away by JC Marcelino. Nakita mo yung kanina, Coach JV. Michael Cañete was really paid little attention to Grimaldo and, you know, was just there doubling on parang semi double pa eh. parang half hearted na double on. Uh, JC Marcelino. And understandable, ayo nila magkaroon ng opportunity to score. They want to double team, but James Cuecote using his speed going baseline, nine points for him. Totally different. They're allowing, atong Sambuanga are allowing the scorers of Bacoor to go one on one. Dito hindi pwede makita natin. Well, scoring this quarter, 18 to, 18 to 8, favoring Bacoor. Laging din double team ang scorers ng Sambuanga. Kita mo, nag-switch. Always switching to dalawa na ngayon. You have to get rid of that ball and give it to someone else to score. And the other players are not making a play. They're not. They're not actually scoring. Third attempt na ni Jamo Aguilos. Hindi pa pumapasok. Siya niyan, sa Grimaldo. Kanyete oh, for Jason three. Grimaldo, sorry. And the rebound to Caralipio. And really, your choice now is also now to... Bilisan mo konti yung laro. Kailangan mo bilisan, play your Sambuanga style of basketball. And right there, Marcelino taking it upon himself to uh, draw the foul on Cañete. Well, person coming in right now, Tansingo for Sambuanga, he's another probable scorer. And this guy won't hesitate to shoot. Oh. Kailangan threat eh. Yung ilalagay mo. Kailangan may threat because ang limang players na nang naglalaro para sa Bacor, everybody's a threat. But it, they're not the threat who create except for James Cuecote. Everybody or Nermal. else. Or Nermal. Lahat nagpapasahan. And everybody's deadly para sa Bacor. Uh, JC Marcelino. Doble kayo siya sa larong to. 15 puntos na. Uh, trying his best to really keep Zamboanga afloat here. 16 points. Well, ako yung natutuwa na il bagong ligo ka ulit, Sedel. Ang sarap-sarap mong amuyin, amuy coke ka ngayon. To anyone asking, I'm fine, okay? Ah, okay. <laughs> Baka mag-worry yung pamilya ko. <laughs> <laughs> well, kasama tayo sa action, kaya nga tayo nandito sa MPBL. Basketballs for everyone. Aaron Heruta. Here's Igilos. Jaime. Nermal is open. Jaime forced that one. And the shot clock will expire. Well, Chito Jaime had no time on the shot clock. He really had to just jack that ball up. But great defense. Ngayon, makikita natin, bagong unit na pumasok sa, sa, sa Sambuanga, mas nagiging aggressive. They just need to fight the way Bakuor is. Aggressive on defense, switching and double teaming, getting the hands, the ball away from any scorer. And Cinco fires, no. Rebound to Joel Liu. And it's still a nine-point lead for the strikers. And it's not 
it's not over. We have one quarter, and this lead is not good enough. Yeah. Turnover for Jamo Aguilos. Balik sa Sambuanga ball, and nakapatay na yung shot clock. Oh! Unfortunate miscommunication there. The, and and yan yung binibigay na problema ng Bacoor sa Sambuanga. Now they're second guessing. Now, yes. Because all throughout, nagahara sila, but this time they clogged up the painted area. Galing great defensive preparation done by Bacoor. But of course, we can't count out the defense of Sambuanga kasi equally impressive din. Pumapasok lang ang shots ng Bacoor. Peruta, the fade away, and not the best shot to earn to end the third quarter for Bacoor, but nonetheless they are in the lead they are up by nine the strikers the top seed of the south against the defending south division champions they are on the ropes right now 46 to 37 as we go into the fourth quarter Player matchup: uh, James Krekete and J.C. Marcelino. Krekete with uh, some impact plays in the third quarter, managed on nine points in the ball game to go with five rebounds. J.C. Marcelino, on the other hand, at 16 so far and uh, plus six rebounds. Oh, but James Krekete actually helping uh, Bacoor take this nine-point lead. Yung mga ginawa ni James Krekete in the third quarter. The energy, the hustle play, and, and really just getting the crowd into the game. Eh, parang he, that was bigger than the nine points he produced in this ball game. Parang ginising siya kasi ni Mahari no nagkakaroon na sila ng contact, physical contact. Suddenly James decided, I'm gonna do something even more. And he brought his game out, which actually helped Baka or get this lead. Tama ka dun. So maybe it would be wise not to put Mahari back in para hindi maganahan na naman ito. But I like to see Mahari back in because he can contribute as well. Oh. Gabayni, JC Marcelino. Oh. Up. The release alone, alam ko, malakas na agad ang pasa ni JC. Aaron Heruta. Chito Jaime. Offensive foul on Aaron Hiruta. So the five on the floor for Bacoor, Li Yu, Nermal, Hiruta, Iguilos, and Jaime. Zamboanga naman, uh, Scaralipio, JC Marcelino, Judel Fuentes, Joseph Gabayni, and Tosi Tancinko. I have a simple question for you. Why is Li Yu in? Another miss from Fuentes. And he I'll, continues to struggle. I'll answer the question. Defensive purposes. Who is he guarding? Caralipio. And that's where you see the, the respect the coach coaching staff has for Li Yu on his defensive ability. That's a foul on Chito Jaime. A little bump plus the momentum of JC going out. Ball goes against Chito Jaime. Oh. The first time in the ball game, Damian Lasco. Tinan natin what he can come up with. Let's watch this again. Oh, Yo, yes. Your right forearm. Yes, yes. Caught in the act. Gabayni. Hand off. To Caralipio. That's Cinco ngayon. Gets it to Ignacio. The kick out to Damian Lasco. The 
going to go down low to Gabayni against Iguilos. Quick spin and Joseph Gabayni puts it in for two. That's the threat Gabayni can contribute down low. Adjustments will be made by Bacoor and then the outside scorers of Sambuanga will start hitting. They just go to that play every time. Full court pressure right now by Sambuanga on Bacoor. 46-39. Here's Joel Lee Yu. Five on the shot clock. Lee Yu. Kick out to Hiruta from deep. Wala. Rebound. Caralipio. Ang hirap gawin nun. Biglang dead ball sa ring. Sa kanto ng ring. Oh! Caralipio losing it. Here's Joel Lee Yu. Layup is good. Yan makikita natin, Lee Yu. This time, last ko ang pinabantayan niya, but running the fast break. Sino pa makakahabol dyan? Turnover situation, 18 to 14, favoring Sambuanga. Points of turnovers. 25 points ang Bacoor. Wow, what a way to capitalize on the miscues of Sambuanga. Francisco is oh. down. A lot of frustration fouls to them. Oh. Uh, pwede nang iwasan eh. But of course, Lee Yu will run the fast break. Yeah, Karalipo lost the handle there. And uh, Lee Yu will lay it in. It's 48 to 39. I've covered a lot of uh, Bacoor games here, Coach David, this season. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out kung uh, saan to sa mga performances nila dito against a really really good team because this is this has been a, a, a really good display on both ends of the floor well to answer that question i can only assume that my answer will be this and will be right napakaganda ng performance ng bakoor because the last time out they were the last time they played together tinalo sila ng sambuanga rito now they just stepped up their game totally different team yeah Troy Ignacio though keeping Sambuanga within striking distance 50 to 42 and if there's one guy who can wake up and bring this lead closer Ignacio is there to do it well Aaron Hiruta immediately called back to the scorer's table Iguilos oh. from the corner no German with the offensive rebound and the foul of Tancinco. The greatness of Jan Nermal. Moving without the ball, keeping himself and giving himself a chance. Great offensive rebound by Jan Nermal. Nermal gets a rest. Alvin Aldai also coming in and Aaron Hiruta. Shot clock at 14 seconds. 50 to 42. Hirapan si Hiruta gets the ball to Aldai out to Krekete James Egilos Jamo Egilos getting himself free because napilitan si Gabayni to help on the penetrating James Krekete ayan makita mo na iwan na Gabayni having to block that pass, leaving Ma Jamo. Oh, and Mahari had to help. Had to help. That's token resistance and right there. Free throw Jamo Iguilos at the line. Uh, this free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances. Ang Sumbuk at Kompletong Appliance brand na Pilipinas could not complete the three-point play. It's a 10-point lead for Bacoor. Pero Jay Moigilas has six points. Yeah. Could have had seven. Gabayni forcing his way in. Joseph Gabayni, 52 to 44. Krekete on attack mode. Bounce pass, corner three, no. Rebound to Krekete, out to Hiruta. And they will reload. A lot of second chance opportunities for Bako Or. This is where Sambuanga, I guess, collapsed in preventing from Bako Or from doing. But Aldai 
just jacking it up knowing he had no seconds left oh Neruta with a steal he's been terrific tonight Aaron Neruta but JC just telegraphed that pass that he hasn't even crossed half court he was telling his brother to that he will pass that ball to him solid pick there by Igilos Jaime Aldai fakes the runner is good Alwin Aldai Great patience decision. patience ball rotation let the things go with the flow they have a rhythm now itong Bacoor nobody's forcing anything they're just moving and playing great basketball Mahari drives and scores 54 to 46 Sambuanga just trading baskets at the moment yung discipline ang nakikita ko maganda for Sambuanga they're not looking for the three usually ang teams nagahanap ng three point shot para makalapit agad but they're just doing two points at a time just making sure that their possession is positive Jaime Neruta doesn't have time and that's a shot clock violation let's uh, give a quick shout out to uh, Billy Ray Robles the Longo Superman and his wife Micah watching right now good evening uh, Senyo as we go into this timeout four and a half minutes remaining strikers up by eight Presenting our Suzuki muscular and sporty fan of the game just like the Avenis do more and achieve more With a muscular and sporty scooter from Suzuki the Avenis Oras na para magmotor Game one ng inyong uh, South Division uh, semi-finals Patangas already on the board in the uh, series with uh, Jensen Ito namang uh, Bacoor on track against Sambuanga. Thank you so much for joining me, Sidal Tupas, and Coach JV Gayoso, and Ms. Gianna Llanes for this uh, matchup between uh, Bacoor and Zamboanga. JC Marcelino, second opportunity for Zamboanga. JC will score. It's just a six-point game. Relentless. He should be called JC Relentless Marcelino. Oh, 18 points. Wow, what a game. He's just attacking every time. And the defensive attention on him as well makes it all the more impressive. They trap Marky. The foul is on. King Caralipio. Next foul puts Zamboanga over the limit. Zamboanga makes, the, makes a stop right now in this possession of Bacoor and scores. Game ain't over. Here's Nermal. And he draws the foul of JC Marcelino. He, really smart play there. Well, he did everything great to JC, but before Nermal took the shot, then he grabbed and got the call against him. But he was doing great defense, stopped that path to the basket. And John Nermal sinks the free throw. 55 to 48. out and in again for John Nermal who now has 19 points 
JV Marcelino, Mahari, Caralipio. JV Marcelino fires a three. Nope. Marcelino. Matake, wala pa rin. Krekete grabs the loose ball. Here's James Krekete, too strong on that drive. JC Marcelino. The kick out to Mahari. Thought about it, hesitated. A Gab lot of hesitation there. Gabaini underneath could not score against Marquis. Well, Gabaini contesting the call, saying that Marquis gave him the shoulder. Once again, all players on the floor, please proceed to the shaking area in front of your respective benches. Well, Both teams have to observe proper Players have to move to the other side. What a lineup for Bakoor playing right now to finish off this game. You've got quick guys, hungry guys, two experienced players, and you've got Heruta. And then here was the play earlier. Gabaini unable to score. It's a tinama. Pagbaba ng kamay ni Marquis. Yes. Kaya nga haba kasi ng mga galamay. Tapos yung extended talaga yung elbows ni Marquis. Uh, then they will still review this. And uh, Zamboanga down by eight right now. We're three minutes and five seconds remaining. Alam mo, when they review this at the Sambuanga team, they, should, they, they, they need to put a lot of focus on the second chance opportunities of Baco or This is what kept them, you know, with, with having a lead against Sambuanga. Maganda na depensa ng Sambuanga, everybody moving, defending. It's just that when Baco or does miss, they get that ball back. the fourth foul on Joseph Gabardi. So right now, Baco or seven crucial. Uh, Second chance opportunities, seven points. And they're mal at the line. And uh, Ivan Ludovice watching right now, cheering his team on. Uh, get well soon, Ivan. Also, get well soon. Epeng and uh, Mac Maxamonte watching as well. So, uh, 48 to 56. We do hope you're enjoying the game. Uh, Salat ng uh, nanonood sa atin on Facebook and YouTube. 57-48. Caralipio. Mahari is open. Has the fire. No. But Mahari hurried the shot. Caralipio. What oh. did? A lot of contact underneath. Iguilos, they're letting them play. Uh, referees. Well, there's no visible hat on the arm. It's all on the ball. But you feel you feel kind of sad for Gavaini because he gets those attempts at point blank and just has a difficult time to make the basket. Napakahirap din pag nakasandal sa'yo ang mga veteranong players ng Baco Or. Yeah. Jadel Fuentes coming back into the ball game, taking Mahari out. Medyo naglilimp kasi si Mahari eh. Well, Joseph Gabaini at the line, a chance to bring this deficit down to seven. The big man hitting his shots from the line. The Alas family right there. Uh, Mam Lisa Alas on the left, Christopher and Keeper as well. Two for two para kay Joseph Gabaini, but it's a seven point ball game. 2.42 remaining. 
nobody has left the venue. <laughs> it is a strike gym. We'll be right back. Game one of the South Division semifinals between Bacoor and Zamboanga. Strikers on top 57 to 50, 242 remaining. If you're just joining us, it's been a. Uh, if you're just joining us, I'm sad for you because you're missing a yeah. great game. It's been a dogfight all the way. Oh! And they turn over for Bacoor. Well, Ang kagandahan nito, they've had turnovers earlier, pero nakaka-recover naman ito. Let's see how they play defense against Zamboanga. JC Marcelino. Trying to play the two-man game. Marcelino, good line on the three. Iguilos grabs the rebound. He had the shot he wanted, just wasn't able to make it go in. Recate drives. No. There's a push. Whistle against King Caralipio. Great timing on the putback. I don't see where the push yeah, is. Yun. Yung kaliwang kamay ni King. Tung tumalan si Marquis. Two for Mark Yee. Good on the first, Mark Yee. Well, that's what he, that's the reason why Mark Yee's in. Imagine going for the second chance opportunity. We mentioned that kailangan pag-aralan ng Sambuanga pigilin ito because come the next game, uulit-ulitin ng Bako or Nine point lead. Fuentes for three. He has not found a mark in this ball game. JV Marcelino to JC. Too strong. Gabaini inside the paint. And Joseph Gabaini. He will not be denied. Eight points para kay Joseph Gabaini. A minute and 45. Still a lot of basketball. Oh, oh. Seven points lang yan. Dalawang, bas dalawang attempt from the three na dito sa Zamboanga. And they were clean. They just haven't been hitting. Oh! And they call an offensive foul on Mark Yee. I just... My interpretation of that is that you shouldn't prevent the defender from trying to defend the guy he wants to go to and you're stopping him from going there. There you go. Yeah. He, he moved his feet to prevent JV Mar Marcelino to go to Heruta. And they will challenge this, the strikers. I noticed the foot movement, diba? Nag-iba yung paan ni Mark Yee to block the path of JV. Yeah. Oh, 
what a game. Oh. The nicest part of this game is that action came all the way to us, wetting you with all the soft drinks on your. No, that was a that was coffee actually. Coffee. Oh, my init. I thought it was soft drinks. 59 to 52. See, it, you know, we've been talking about Judel Fuentes the whole game. He has not scored. Zero points, two rebounds, two assists. 0 for 6. 0 for 6. He had an attempt before this uh, lull in the game. No, he had an attempt. And 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 this is coming off a 19 point performance in a knockout game. Oh oh. At kung masasabi mo lang, ma-interpret mo rin yun. Kasalanan niya eh. Ginandahan niya. Pinag-aralan siya ngayon. The challenge was unsuccessful. Call the first stage. Offensive foul for number 52, Mark Gee. His second foul. The challenge unsuccessful. Yeah, because it, for, even from our point, when, when we saw the replay, gumagalaw ang paa niya. Ito, makita na po niya. That is enough. Nakaplant ang paa ni Mark. Okay, there. You stop that. And then you move okay there. And then he moves again. No. Uh -oh. Para yon to go back to that second position to prevent. Yeah, can't do that. But see, right now the crowd doesn't see yung paa movement, eh. and that's why they're reacting this way. Zambonga down seven. Marcelino, JV from the corner, no. They have to check to make sure. <laughs> 59 to 52, <laughs> minute and 21 remaining. If you put a value on that ball, abut na siguro ng 1 million pesos yung value ng ball lang yan, probably more. Everybody wants that ball right now. And Coach Louie, alas. Uh, try to I think offer the this comeback. Ayan, doon natin nakikita Gabayni His right arm Oh, yeah, last touch na Most important is the inbound Caniete Natapik ni Marcelino He recovers He's in trouble And the foul both teams in the penalty, Cañete will go to the line. Andy Santos comes back in para kay uh, Joseph Gabayni. Well, now they're, at, they're putting in Adi Santos for a bit more speed. Total, ang hinahanap ng offense right now Nan Sambuanga is outside shooting. Kanyete missing his first crucial mga free throws needed. <laughs> loyal fans ng ano ng uh, Bakuor kinakabahan. Oh! oh for two. Last touch on Adi Santos. Just when you think you're blessed with a miss. You lose the ball and turn it over and give Bacoor another chance. This ball game. Yung second quarter natin ng haba din nuna, in dulo na second quarter and fourth quarter ng haba din. And to think, we had an exciting game on our first game, and we're still here, excited, going along, playing along with these two teams. Nakakahawa talaga yung. Well, 72 seconds remaining and uh, there is still a review on the last out-of-bounds play. The ball will stay with Bacoor. So three possession game.
Shot clock at 14 seconds. Regilos. Ruta. Fuentes with the steal. Judel looking for his first basket. And he got that one to go. What a play. Judel Fuentes. The sheer hard work fighting off the off the pick here. Oh nga. Ang kagandahan dito. He went and continued scoring with only two points. And what does that mean? Three possessions. Earlier, Ang Sambuanga was looking for the three and see how valuable the three possessions ago could have been two points or probably six points if they went closer and got points nearer the basket. A lot of voices on that uh, Bakor Hado. What I, you know, what I pick up from there was. Number one, secure the ball. That's a handball. Secure, protect that ball. And Be then you're expecting all double team to come, you know. And then, uh, sabi ni Coach Chris Gavina sa dulo, you gotta want the ball. Oh, oh, oh. Seconds. Ito makita natin kailangan siguro nang switching ang ang Sambuanga. No more timeouts for Bacoor. Dalawa pa for Sambuanga. 59 to 54. Just play honest defense. Get that ball back. Make those stops. Here's Nermal, shot clock, down to two. Cueca, Tay has to fire, no good. Rebound the Adi Santos, Zambonga has to go quick. JC Marcelino blocked by Nermal! What a defensive stop by Nermal. And here he is, Nermal. Rising to deny JC Marcelino. One of the few times JC Marcelino didn't go for the body of Nermal. He was going for the shot. And oftentimes you'd see JC get the bump first, but this time he avoided Nermal. Well, he's made some great defensive plays in this ball game, but the defense. It's been well, incredible. Hindi lang yan, pati yung crucial offensive rebound. Ano to coach? Ball screen na pag ano, walang magasap. Ball screen na kay JD. Dito na, JC. Dito. Dito. Dito na siya. Joseph. Joseph. Nagawin mo dito na JP. So the Bakoor is asking for a review because they feel the ball was touched last by Sambuanga, JC's hand. But Coach Louis still giving instructions. At nasa loob na ng court, si Coach Louis. The ball will stay with uh, Zambuanga. Pero hindi naman pwede i-review yun. Wala, nawala na yata sila ng oh, oh. chance Saka, to Wala na silang challenge as well. Yeah, challenge, ano. So... We just have to leave it with the call made by the referees. 42 seconds remaining, 19 on the shot clock for Zamboanga. Marcelino. Caralipio fires a three. No. Rebound, JB Marcelino. Steal by Nermal. Ahead to Precate.
foul on Caralipio. They had an opportunity right there. A lot of open shots for Sambuanga that weren't falling. They had so many three-point shots that placed them in an opportunity to score. But wala, hindi talaga pumapasok. Mukhang nasara ang ring ng Sambuanga. James Kukate looking to seal the deal at the line. He's played well as well. 10.7 rebounds. Great contribution by James Kukate. It's at 11. It's back to a three possession game. Zamboanga. Calls their last time out of the ball game. 22.4 seconds remaining. They are down by seven. One to 54. Thank you for joining us in this uh, game one ng inyong uh, South Division semifinals. Shout out to uh, Richard Albo of the Negros Muscovado still watching. Twenty-two point four seconds remaining, and Zamboanga mount the comeback. Fuentes. To Gabaini underneath. Gabaini spins and scores. Ten points for Gabaini. That's something that Sambuanga oh. needs to use more. Oh, third it's a steal. Over. Oh! Agbangaan. Marcelino air ball. Regate. And uh, that will do it. Bakoor takes game one. Of the South Division semi-final series with Zamboanga. A hard-fought victory. Maradito sa strikers. Zamboanga back to the drawing board. But for the Bacor City strikers, it was a low-scoring defensive game. And it's a defensive game that they eventually prevailed. Alamo Sedel. Based on history, um, in the Southern Finals of last year, Sambuanga lost their first game. And then they won the next two. Very tough to count them out, Eton Sambuanga, and I'm pretty sure they've, they'll improve even more. And John Nermal is our best player of the game. 20 points, 7 of 14 shooting, 8 rebounds, and 2 steals. Another impressive effort. From uh, John Nermal. Shout out lang, no? Uh, Aaron Heruta, great ball game. He con he contributed all throughout offense and defense. James Cuecote, shout out to you. But in this game, talaga nag stick out yung in performance ni John Nermal. That's one third of the output of Bakoor for John Nermal. Let's go to Gian Alianis. Congratulations, John Nermal. He had 20 points. John, actually, tinalo kayo ng Zamboanga during eliminations dito sa home court nyo. Paano nyo yun ginamit bilang motivation na makabawi ngayon? Ayun nga, uh, yung mga tendency na pinag-aralan namin. So, kailangan namin nyo ma-stop yung mga tao namin kung, kung mga switches. Uh, so, yun, lalo na playoffs na to. Uh, sa mali mo lang, malalaglag na na. So, sayang yung pinagtrabaho namin buong taon. So, yun, binigay namin lahat. Uh, ang gano'n makuha namin panala to. Uh, focus namin sa game 2. 
At speaking of game two, actually na secure niyo yung panalo ngayon talagang sa second half. Naalala ko sinabihan kayo ni Coach Alex na mag-relax lang, don't get frustrated. Paano niyo gagamitin yung mindset na yun to secure this series sa game two? Uh, kung ano mong pinakita namin ngayon, yung pinagandaan namin ngayon na uh, game one, so tagtagan pa namin. Uh, mas pulidin din pa namin yung mga lapses namin ngayong game. Uh, dadali namin yung positive, iwan na namin yung mga negative. And lahat ng supporters nyo, todo celebrate once we heard that buzzer. Pasalamatan mo naman lahat ng supporters ng kupunan nyo who are here at the venue and who are watching right now. Uh, Oo, na nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon. Binigay sa amin yung panalo uh, sa boss namin, kay Mayor Strike, kay Ma'am Shay Rebilla, kay Boss Dennis Rebilla, kay Ma'am Liza, sa lahat-lahat ng mga boss namin, uh, sa lahat-lahat ng mga taga-bakor, yung wife ko, si Princess, yung anak ko, si Hili. Happy, happy birthdays. Happy, happy birthday din sa mama, ko, sa mama ng miss ko, si... Mama Etel, uh, si Boss Danny Espiritu, uh, si Boss GSY, uh, then yung mga pamilya ko sa Negros, mga papa ko sa Barangay Talabangay, Kabangalan City, and kay Boss GSY, salamat salamat boss, sa lahat ng mga taga-bakor. Thank you very much and congratulations to John Normal. I will let you celebrate with your family and your team. Back to you, Sidelf and JV. Marami salamat, Gianna. We Thank have you. to catch our breath here. After the thrilling contest won by Bako Or in the second half, really the game coming to life in that second half, Coach JV, with some big plays from James Krekate and you, you know the, the, the defensive intensity between these two teams just ramped up in that second half. Oh, tama ka dun, ano? Nahirap, nahirap makascore itong Sambuanga thanks to the defense of of uh, Bako Or. But even more than that, here in our replays, you'll see pass after pass unselfish basketball, extra passing that created opportunities for the players of Bako or now. Uh, looking forward to the next game, it's gonna be a, an even more exciting game because this guy, JC Marcelino, for sure will even will step up his game even more. Yeah, of course, now you expect a fight back from uh, the Zamboanga family's Grand Sardines after this uh, loss in game one. It was really a, a, a difficult battle for Zamboanga. It seemed like every time my adjustment, yung Zamboanga, Bacor already had an answer. May answer. Na pre well prepared sila and they've got the material to, you know, um, just come up with good plays after good plays. And they, they've been consistent all throughout from start to finish. And uh, dyan nga nagtapos ang ating uh, ball game, 61 to 56. And uh, our games on November 3, Painga muna tayo, Coach JV. Yes. Uh, please take your much needed break. <laughs> and I will take mine. Yan. I will uh, grab it as uh, Pampanga takes on Kaluokan at 6 p.m. on November 3. In, uh, that will be in uh, Palayan City, Nueva Ecija. Number 6 and 1 looks to eliminate Nueva Ecija in their home floor, but. You know, you expect also a big fight back from Nueva Ecija. Oh, titingnan natin. Ano mangyayari dyan sa game na yan? Yeah, thank you for joining us, uh, me and Coach JV Gayoso, and of course, Gianna Llanes. For now, we'll turn you over to our press conference. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to MPBL post-game press conference. Congratulations, Coach Alex Angeles and our best player, uh, Jan Normal. And also with us, Coach uh, Bacoor team owner, Dennis Abelia. Uh, Coach, on your first meeting, tinalo kayo ng Sambuanga at dito yung sa home court ninyo. Coach, how's important na makuha ninyo yung game one sa series na to? Uh, well, unang-una, pwedeng pasalamat muna kami sa, aming pong may, sa ating pong may kapal kasi binigay na sa amin yung panalo. Uh, yung, yung kahalagahan ng game one, kasi lagi namin sinasabi, back to zero na to eh, lagi eh. Yung, yung elimination, tapos na yun eh. Hindi mo na pwedeng balikan. So, ang kailangan mo lang naman doon, sa, sa, sa bawat pagkatalo mo, is matuto ka. So, kumbaga, talagang pinagpuyatan naman namin, coaches, uh, yung paano namin sila may stop. Pangalawa, yung puso na ng player para gawin yung game plan is talaga naman hats off ako sa kanila na kung saan yung, yung goal namin is maibalik yung identity ng Bako Or, which is yung defense. Kaya kung makikita nyo... Uh, yung, yung score nila doon sa mababa lang kasi doon doon kami parang kilala kaya naman doon kami nag-stick hindi kami sumabay sa pace nila na takbuhan-takbuhan kaya yun yung naging advantage namin sa game 1 
Coach, ano yung naging instruction niya sa team after halftime break? Kasi nung first half, hindi naman nagkakalayo yung scores. Palitan lang ng mga puntos. Pero nung dumating ng third quarter, doon naging intense yung game at lumamang kayo ng nine points after that quarter. So ano yung naging game plan after halftime break na nagplano sa inyo, ay nagpapanalo sa inyo well, ngayong game one? Nung halftime naman, sabi ko sa players namin na tama yung ginagawa namin. Kasi sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung pace ng laro, mabagal, it's a slow game. So, kumbaga sa amin, pumapabor yun eh. Then sabi ko sa kanila, we just need to stick with the game plan. And then later on, uh, bubuka yan eh. Kumbaga, baka sa amin pumunta yung pabor, which is yun naman ang nangyari sa game. Kaya, kumbaga, sabi ko nga sa inyo ulit, hats off ako sa players namin sa, sa pagsunod dun sa game plan ng team. Uh, John, uh, para sa'yo, Uh, on game 2 sa Batangas gagawin so ano yung kailangan yung gawin para makuha yung game 2 at, at matapos na yung series uh, yun nga sa game 2 uh, iba na yung iba na yung istorya nyo na uh, mag-a-adjust din yung kalaban mag-a-adjust din sa Buangga so mag-a-adjust din kami yung mga lapses namin ngayon iwan namin yung mga negative na nangyari dadali namin yung mga positive na nangyari um, Sir Dennis uh, sa inyo po uh, kamusta naman po yung support na natin sa team ah, syempre ah uh... Uh, lagi namin sinasabi nagpapasalamat kami kay uh, Mayor Strike Revilla sa kanyang uh, walang sawang uh, suporta at syempre kay Ma'am uh, Shea Cabal Revilla na talagang kahit uh, wala sila dito talagang uh, pinapanood tayo online para lang uh, makita yung laro at talagang chinichir kami at uh, talagang pinagdadasal kami na sana talagang uh, manalo tayo. To Sir Dennis. Thank you.